I am back again with another Wednesday Talks. So this time it is on uh, the top 5 commonly asked questions about mainframe. I get a lot of comments from uh, subscribers and uh, some of my friends and uh, colleagues. They ask who are working in different domains. They ask like uh, they ask a lot of questions to me and, uh, and subscribers. Most, mostly the subscribers they ask a lot of questions about this. Not like let me pick few of the questions and uh, present it here uh, so that it can be helpful to everyone. Okay. So with that said, let me get started with the first commonly asked question that I hear is what mainframe do bank use? Okay. So mainframe is used uh, in different domains, uh, but in, especially in the bank, what mainframe do bank use? The, why this question comes up is uh, we have there are a lot of companies that use to build mainframe like Unisys, Honeywell, HP. I mean they they all use to manufacture the mainframes, but most highly used is an IBM. Okay. So what according to IBM say like uh, what top 44 of the top 50 bank use IBM Z mainframe where I work is an IBM Z mainframe so most of the viewers who are viewing this so they too might be working on IBM Z I'm sure most of them will be working on IBM Z mainframe let's look at this uh, fact about this okay 86 percent of all credit card transactions that are running presently around the world run through the Z mainframe so that's the power of IBM main uh, Z mainframe I can say okay and let me show you a picture here of the United States with the uh, banks wherein they are using the IBM Z mainframes okay so this is a simple figure it may be it may I can't, uh, I mean, there's something I got this picture from the Google, okay, but most of the banks, I can say like the top 44 banks uses uh, mainframe, IBM Z mainframes, okay. And uh, at the bottom, I have given a URL. So if you are, uh, if you want to know, like you, uh, you may have a question. Like you're, you're just showing the United States map. Is a, is a IBM Z mainframe not used in any other countries? Yes, it's been used in a different countries. Uh, if you click on this URL, so you'll be getting the list in detail about uh, the companies using their uh, IBM mainframes, and which are which has their own mainframe systems uh, purchased, and they are using it for their applications. Okay, and to give you a list, like a. Uh, the mainframe where it's been used in North America, Europe, Asia Pacific, South America, Middle East, and Africa. So these are different countries where the mainframe, IBM Z mainframe, is being used. So this covers the first questions, and let me jump on to the second one. The, again, the commonly asked question is: Do they still use this IBM mainframe? This is a common question that I hear a lot nowadays. I mean, is mainframe being still used? I can probably say like yes, it's been used. Let's look at the stats. The banking, where it is used, it is used in the banking. Forty-four of the top fifty banks use IBM Z mainframes. Okay, and insurance. IBM Z mainframes are used by all top insurers worldwide. This is a fact I'm saying. Okay, and healthcare. Even in healthcare. Uh, where uh, now the data is processed on the mainframe it's not enough so from ages it's been used okay and uh, government many of the governments i mean uh, especially in the united states you can see like all the government organizations still uses or still they rely on mainframe okay and aviations especially the flights all the reservation that is happening through on the mainframes from the mainframe I can see. and in the retail industry for example if you ask me that like walmart so they use mainframes okay so this covers the second question so that is commonly asked okay let me move on to the another question Okay, so this is uh, another uh, tricky one, not tricky one, so commonly asked one, uh, core banking. What is core banking, All right? So core banking services includes like uh, mortgages, deposits, loan, and credit card uh, processing capabilities uh, that interfaces, it interfaces to, gen uh, to general ledger systems and reporting tools, okay? To uh, tell you in a simple word, what is a core banking uh, solution? I mean, why, what, why do they call it as a core banking, right? And what is the benefit of core banking? What happens is it minimizes the human intervention, thereby eliminating some errors, okay? So we are confusing, no, right? So, okay. What I'm saying is most of the applications uh, that are used in a co as part of the co-banking, co like say, when I say in applications, deposits and lending. So these are like a two pillars uh, to the bank, right? So they, these are considered as a co-banking, okay? And uh, there are various services that are provided to this and they use mainframes as an application at the backend. So without mainframe, these applications will not run. And, and on top of it, there are other applications that runs like distributed, like it can be in a Java applications, .NET applications and all the data processing systems, like you can say, uh, big data, uh, informing, uh, I mean, what are the tools? I mean, what are the applications, they, all the tools they use? On, it's all on top of it, but the source data comes from the mainframe systems, okay? So the banks make these uh, services available to their customers across multiple channels, like like ATMs, internet banking, mobile banking, and branches. So this all together they call it as a core banking. Okay. The reason I'm explaining this is mainframe is being used in core bank. Okay. Okay. So now let's move on to another question. What is Hogan banking? Yeah. Okay. So this is another thing. They few of them, and I I normally hear from the subscriber commenting it. So uh, I'm I got placed in a project where they are using an IBM uh, mainframes and uh, they are telling uh, they use Hogan. I'm not sure what is this. Okay. So Hogan is also an uh, mainframe application. Okay. They build a product. Okay. So that is a uh, uh, I mean they call it as an integrated suit, especially to do a main co uh, processor core banking applications that offers a full range of customers deposits cards and loan products processing more than dollar five trillion in global deposit annually this is uh, information that i pulled from the txc website okay they, i mean this is a dxc the hogan system that if you're using if you're working on a, a hogan system so that's a dxc product and uh, the company is currently using dxc hogan systems like wells fargo key bank bank of america and all these uh, uh, financial sectors they are using this hogan systems okay let's move on to another question like uh, yeah this is interesting this is another question that's been asked like can cloud replace mainframe okay to, to speak frankly in short the cloud is not a replacement for your mainframe I repeat again, in short, the cloud is not a replacement for your mainframe. It's just a newer or a flasher way of implementing the same type of functionality that mainframes offered started decade, decades ago. I mean, again, I can say like offered starting decades ago. Okay. Okay. The next question you can ask me like, uh, what is the difference between cloud and mainframe? Okay. Mainframe is a client server based computer system where it has high processing power, memory and storage to support massive data processing operation. And what about cloud? Right. Uh, cloud computing is a distributed architecture of systems spread across the internet or web and used to store, manage, process and access data online. So that's the key difference on uh, mainframe versus a uh, cloud, right? So now can you say can cloud replace mainframe? No. Yeah. Okay. So that was all, all was about a few of the questions. So I thought like let me put down into slide. I hope I was able to give some uh, information out of this. I know the, 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 there may be a more information that can be shared. If you do feel like you can uh, 
adds few more information just do post your comments in the below comment section so that everyone can see your comments and even i can uh, see those comments and i can learn new things from you all okay uh, thank you so much for watching this and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and share it okay thank you so much and have a great wonderful day